football and racing made the trip to Phillip Island for both the final round of the Australian Formula Ford Series and the Victorian Formula Ford Championship. Jaden Ojeda entered the weekend aiming to secure a top three position in the series standings. Um, definitely the first round was a massive highlight winning two first races of the year. I kind of fell away a bit, had, Queensland wasn't too good for us. Um, look, we'll still try to put our best foot forward for this weekend um, and do the best we can, both myself and the team. After a crash in an earlier state championship round, Cody Donald returned in his repaired spectrum. Um, the cast felt good, um, but just buying a bit of cobwebs out because I haven't been in the car for a few months. Um, I think just being smart because there's so many opportunities to overtake, so if you capitalise on the opportunities that are being given or presented to you, um, just go for it. Um, and also the toes are a massive factor around here in qualifying, so to capitalise on those um, things would be great. In race one, some stunning racecraft from Ojeda allowed him to pick up a second place race finish after a tight battle with Max Vito. Liam McClellan finished 7th, while Ben Reichstein, competing in his final Formula Ford round, came home ninth. Ojeda talked about the close contest. Yeah, definitely. Um, Max had the run on me coming up onto the fast, last corner. Um, he was on the inside, and I kind of thought it was all over. Um, but then luckily I had the lap car, so I just used that to my advantage and kind of boxed him in a little bit and managed to get around both of them pretty cleanly, so very, very good. Um, yeah, the car was great. Um, I think it fell off a bit towards the end of the race, but we'll tune her up for race two later today. Um, and hopefully we'll have a better crack at it and hopefully go one more. Race two produced plenty of action, with Harrison Jones, the best of the Spectrum drivers, in fourth, the head of Reichstein and McClellan. Ojeda slipped tonight with a spectacular moment over Lukey Heights, while Paul Zinni was elated with the top ten result. Uh, yeah, look, certainly from, uh, from my side, uh, I just had an absolute ball out there and uh, it was great racing with Connor Nicholson. Uh, it's fantastic to be racing around someone that you know has got uh, a level head, a sensible driver. You can, I mean, in our cars we race literally wheel to wheel, not mudguard to mudguard, so you've got to trust the people you're racing around and uh, I, I just had a ton of fun. It's, um, I, I suppose, part of that comes back to the fact that at my level, I've only just sort of got myself up to a pace where I'm now mixing it with the back markers, whereas in the in the previous years, you may recall, as I've been working my way up to here, I've been in that sort of no man's land, slower than the Duratex, faster than the Kents, and I'd just drive around and have these uh, lovely lovely drives on my own, occasionally seeing someone as they've spun off and then seeing them again as they pass me back. Um, so to actually be in there and mixing it up this weekend, it's a new experience, a new challenge, and that was just so much fun. Ojeda charged up to fourth in race three's variable weather conditions to seal second place for the round, with Jones scoring his maiden overall National Formula Ford podium. Meanwhile, another sixth place result was enough for McClellan to wrap up the Victorian Formula Ford Championship. Yeah, it was a really good weekend and a really good year. Really happy to come out on top in the Victorian Championship. That was our aim this year with ball and racing. And um, yeah, this weekend did enough to secure the title and really happy. Making it two titles for ball and racing in Victorian Formula Ford was Brendan Jones, who won the Kent class round to secure the Formula Ford 1600 championship. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's it's uh, another great weekend. Um, some unfortunate uh, issues for some of the other competitors, but uh, I've come out on top with a couple of wins in a second for the weekend and uh, it's capped off another great year, so I'm uh, really thrilled, yeah. In that final race there was, there was a bit of wet weather towards the end, uh, how much did that help you as one of the Kent class drivers? Um, I don't think it helped me a great deal, I was sort of more concerned with Robert coming up behind me and maybe a bit of self preservation, um, just wanted to finish and finish on a good note for the year um, and it was great to have the win in the class. Ball and Racing's attention now turns to a couple of non-championship events, while preparations are also in full swing for 2018.